Hi, Kim Adams, Happy Healthy Groovy, Eating Psychology and Health Coach here. Today I want to answer a few frequently asked questions that I get from people. And the first one is, well, what is an eating psychology coach? Well, what is it you do? Because it's not a very um, familiar term, particularly here in Australia. So as an eating psychology coach, I work with people to help them develop a more nourishing, sustainable relationship with food so that they can achieve their goals. Now the type of goals that many people are trying to achieve uh, is weight loss. So if that's your goal, we will look at things surrounding your diet and your life that are impacting on your weight gain or your difficulty you're having in losing the weight that you've gained. Um, I also work with people who have digestive problems such as bloating, discomfort, etc. Um, and also another area that is particularly interesting is the area of the relationship between mood and eating and mood and uh, food and diet. So as an eating psychology coach I work with you to look at all areas of your life, um, not just your diet, to develop a strategy and plan for you to implement to achieve your goals. In doing that I might act as a teacher, an educator, a coach, uh, an encourager and someone who will hold you accountable. Another question I get which leads on from there is so is it like counselling? Well yes it has some aspects of counselling in it and my background training is in psychology but more in the organisational psychology and performance improvement area. Um, eating psychology coaching does look at all areas of your life, it does look at your emotions, it does look at your life story as well as the nutrition that you're eating. So there is some aspect of asking questions and getting you to dig a little deeper and explore issues if they are relevant to your health issue. It's not like counselling in that I don't wish to dwell too much on the past, particularly if it's not relevant. It's important to acknowledge past experience and how that might impact on who you are as an eater today. But we don't want to get stuck on going back and trying to sort the past out. The past is the past. Let's look at where that has brought you to today and how we can develop strategies together that will work to help you achieve your goals. Another frequently asked question I get is, so if it's not about just about the diet, it won't involve diet and exercise? When I say it's not about the diet, I don't mean food or healthy eating or a healthy lifestyle is not important. It is very important. However, many people who are having struggles with weight are already very knowledgeable about what is healthy. So it is not so much the food per se that we need to look at, but other aspects that might be impacting on their decisions around food. However, if you come to a session uh, and we do look at your diet and I will ask about what you eat, and there does seem to be some macro level changes we can make, then most certainly we will talk about that. When I say it's not about the diet, I won't be giving you a prescriptive diet that says eat 80 grams of protein and 20 grams of fat and three pieces of vegetables and one piece of fruit at each meal. I won't be telling you you need to eat 1200 calories a day or two and a half thousand calories a day. I won't be that specific. We will look in general at the macronutrients that you are taking in to make sure they are as balanced as possible to suit your individual body needs. So I hope that's hope. I help. I hope. I can't even speak now. I hope that has helped um, clarify a little bit about what an eating psychology coach does. Thanks.